Somewhere along the way in your rail fanning travels, you may have stumbled across one or more colorful boards. They may be red, yellow, green, or a combination of colors and they vary in appearance from railroad to railroad, but their colors are the same, and so is their purpose. They're temporary flags, slow boards, and they're usually found at or near mile marker posts and there's generally four types in use in North America. The first is a red and yellow board and it alerts the train crew that there's a red board two miles further down the track. The second is the red board itself and it protects the men, women, and equipment working on or adjacent to the track. There's normally a track bulletin form B that's given to the crew at the start of their trip which gives them the exact milepost limits of the restricted area and the name of the employee in charge of the work area. A crew member must then contact the employee in charge by radio once they're getting close and receive instructions for movement through the work area or to stop and remain stopped until the employee in charge allows the train to pass through the limits. The third is the yellow board and it means that there's a temporary speed restriction two miles further down the track. The train crew receives a track bulletin form A which gives the limits and the maximum speed. If the crew doesn't have a form A for that location, then beginning two miles after passing the yellow board, the train must slow to 10 miles per hour and not increase its speed for two additional miles or until a green board has been passed by the last car of the train. The fourth is a green board and it indicates the end of the temporary restriction and after the last car of the train has passed the green board, track speed may again be governed by timetable instructions and signal rules.